Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. This week I'm crafting an updated version of my leather valet tray. So why did this need an update? Well, I still use the first version as my own personal valet tray. I find that the corners, although minimal, are a little bit mm, annoying because they sit next to a couple other things on my nightstand. So I decided to do something about it and I honestly love this version of this valet tray. So let's get to it. Here I'm using some Buck Brown Harness Leather by Wick and Craig. This is approximately six to seven ounces thick. Then I'm going to lay my rough template on the leather and trace it out. I don't have a specific template for this valet tray. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. Next, I'm just using a rotary cutter so I can cut off all those edges. Here I'm just doing a practice stamping of my logo on a scrap piece of leather. This helps me just to make sure that I get a nice clean imprint before I go to the final product. Looks like I need to go a little bit harder on this next pass. Then I just make sure that the stamp is centered before I go for the final pass. I find that I get a nice, clean, even stamp when I rotate the piece 90 degrees. I don't often like to wet the leather just because it sometimes imparts a different quality into the leather that I don't want. Moment of truth. And it looks great. Since I didn't want any pointy corners on this version of the valet tray, I decided to cut the leather in such a way that you would hide the corners when you're snapping it together. Here I am just getting rid of those sharp corners with a corner punch. You don't need to use this, but I find that it works really well. And then it's just a matter of beveling. I'm beveling with a fine edge beveler. Make sure that you're beveling both the top and the bottom. Then apply tokenol and uh, get to burnishing. I'm using a Coca Bola wood burnisher attachment on a rotary Dremel tool. These corners are rather tricky, but uh, it turned out all right. After that, apply some more tokenol and get to waxing with some canvas by hand. I used a scrap piece of leather to try out how I wanted to do these corners, so I ended up using that as my template here. And it's just a matter of punching out those holes. Here I'm just folding the leather by hand. I didn't really want to do any wet farming for this project. I decided to go with some antique brass rivets. I thought they would look really nice against the buck brown harness leather. And there I'm just making sure that I have all the snaps facing the right direction so I can snap it together correctly.
once the snaps are all in place, it's just a matter of putting it together. But let's take some nicer shots. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have added these to my site, so you can go to the link in the description and you can go get one. I am on Instagram, at Legacy Brand Leather. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. I'll see you next week with a new video.